what exactly is deep learning? And I got this, um, I got this definition from TensorFlow program. This is the only slide I have that has lots of words in it. I'm sorry, I'm going to actually have to read it to you because I think it's the best definition, the most simple definition of what deep learning is. Please forgive me just because I have to read it to you. So it's a technique for building computer programs that learn from data. It is based loosely on how we think the brain works, loosely. It's just biologically inspired. First, a collection of software neurons are created and connected together, allowing them to send messages to each other. Next, the network is asked to solve a problem, which it attempts to do over and over again, each time strengthening the connections that lead to success and diminishing those that lead to failure. The thing about deep learning specifically is at every point in a neuron, the computation that gets carried out is very, very simple. Often it's just multiplication of two numbers or something like that. Very, very simple. But the power comes from the fact that it is in a network. The network has hierarchy layers, and you do it over and over and over. Each time you do it, you run it through your system, you evaluate it against the loss function which is basically what you want to learn. Basically something that looks like this. If you wanted to build a neural network to distinguish between images of cats and dogs, the first thing you do is get lots of examples of cats with the label cat, lots of examples of a picture of dogs, hopefully with the label dogs. You'll pass them through a neural network like this. Assuming each of these dots is a neuron, maybe a multi-layer perceptron, and then it goes through, then you get the output, cats, correctly. You keep doing this over and over again. Sometimes you get it wrong. Every time you get it wrong, you penalize it and send back a, fi a, a signal backwards to diminish the activation between the neurons. Every time you get it correct, you send back a signal to increase the strength between the neurons. Now, what if the software neurons were replaced by people. So the same architecture, layers, activation function, a, a feedback that gives you, a, whether you're strengthening or you're diminishing the activation between your neurons. What would it look like? It would look like something we're all very familiar with, which is the company hierarchy, like an organizational hierarchy. At the top, there's someone often like a CEO, Next to the CEO in the next layer down are probably people that support them, maybe a COO, a chief financial officer, chief marketing officer, so on and so forth. You get your middle managers, and then it basically looks like this. If you turn it around, you see that it really kind of looks like a mortal, it actually looks like a deep learning network. And we do this all the time. If you replace the neurons with people, what kinds of problems can this global brain solve? 